Good morning, everyone, or good day, wherever you are, or evening. Um, today is February the 13th. Tomorrow we have a Valentine's Day, okay? Sandra Alexa here, and I am with my personal muse. Go to the show me section, you'll see my website, okay? Basically, I'm a truth sayer, I'm a coach, I'm an educator, I'm an author, um, star seed born with the veil so i'm a call bearer and so i like to inspire and work with people to um to discover their potential okay work with the nodal um nodal placements very strongly and i'm going to have a special on that to find your energy signature okay so what i do is i also interview different people all about healing and um, their gifts and um, all the astrological um, weather reports. So today, what I have to share with you is that powerful uh, Pisces super new moon. It's mingled with some very powerful energies this month as Saturn, the great teacher planet, is heading to Pisces to arrive on March 7th of 2023 and will stay until February 13th, 2026. So there's some very, very powerful energies right now. Okay. Well, first of all, I forgot. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would comment. I do a draw. If you would share this video and if you would subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, I will also have a video on um how to put comments on because I've had challenges from people. Okay, so I forgot that. So I'll start again. So the powerful Pisces new moon is mingled with some very powerful energies this month. As Saturn, the great teacher planet, is heading to Pisces to arrive on March the 7th of 2023 and will stay until February 13th, 2026. So I'm going to have a video on that and then I'll have a video on what we have been learning, what have our, our lessons been the last two and a half years. Um, after that, Saturn will not be back to teach you again until April the 16th, 2052. So 29 years from now, that's the rotation. Now let us discuss this beautiful, beautiful new Pisces super moon. Now this is important. If your birthday falls between February 19th and 26th, you will really feel Saturn there is going to be a separate post and video. Very important is it's going to assist you. Okay. Wowzer. February 19th, we have another one degree moon. I believe it's the fourth of fifth we've had somewhere. It, so when it's a one degree, it's just starting that cycle because there's a 30 degree. And so it will take that. That's what it's meant by one degree. So this moon is very powerful. So check out this beautiful, potent super new moon at one degrees of Pisces. And that's ruled by dreamy Neptune, which is a transpersonal planet. What it means is new beginnings with all the wisdom you have acquired. This moon is aligned with the Palladiates and is, is bringing a ton of Palladian energies with it. The energies will be amping up as we move towards 222 and 224 as both are powerful galactic activation portal days. The 222 brings major galactic heating, healing, and the DNA upgrades while the 224 has major shifts happening. Pisces is represented by two fish swimming in opposite directions. The two fish represent both the light and dark, which are two necessary states that we all experience on our life journey from time to time, like the yin and yang symbol. This reminds us that both light and dark will return us to a state of wholeness. With this powerful Pisces energy, we have the chance to make important changes in our lives. All the major astrological bodies are direct, which contributes to forward momentum. This super new moon represents a sense of embracing responsibilities. However, the exciting energy is that, we're, is that we are picking up energy in faith and inspiration areas. 
somewhere in your natal chart, you have a house, okay, where the beautiful new supermoon Pi Pisces shines down upon. And that's a certain area in your life. And it will inspire you to set intentions, make some goals, have some aspirations, and have some plans. There are many possibilities. This is really an open-ended one. You have some exciting decisions. Wow, maybe buy a house, move, get married, have a baby, or write and publish your first book, etc. So it's powerful new ones. You may generate this opportunity yourself or it may be offered to you. Either way, you will immediately know if you follow upon the idea, you listen to your intuition. You work hard with Saturn and Pisces, but the results could change your life for the better. And that statement is not an exaggeration. The rewards you gain under Saturn are ones you will get to keep forever and you can build upon your achievement. In other words, your gains will not be fleeting like sometimes gains come in and gains go just like the tides these gains will stay we welcome the pisces season ruled by neptune a transpersonal planet as it opens a portal to higher dimensions okay and it gives inspiration and aspiration with pure deep emotions the fish constellation brings with it a time for reflection and expression and we're encouraged to get in touch with our emotion. It's examining how we really feel about the experiences and people that you're putting your time into. This moon has us contemplate that 2023 may be about relationships, our own relationship to self. Also personal relationships, family relationships, work relationships. Self-discovery work and self-mastery is the name of the game. A time to start setting boundaries. This is a perfect time to have a session or reading and I can go through it with you. A great goal or intention or invocation is to get more in touch with your own identity as you acknowledge your own authenticity, sovereignty, transparency, and are willing to be honest as you listen to the divine messages and walk your path forward. New moons are always a time of new beginnings, and the super new moon in Pisces inspires you to imagine the future you want. So take the time to write down what it is you've been dreaming of and try to figure out what's stopping you from getting it. Excellent time when we can overcome our fears so that we can begin manifesting the things we've fantasized about. We can be very sensitive. It's a time to keep strong boundaries, considering that others want to share their problems and feelings. Thank you for taking your time. And I appreciate it again. If you would comment, I do um, draw every month. And if you would share and if you would like and really appreciate it, if you would subscribe to the channel. So many blessings and much love and Watch the skies for this beautiful, beautiful moon.